Hello everybody, this is Gary. <clears throat> Today is June 5th, Wednesday, 2019, and I am broadcasting from Rochester, New York. Um, this is my coping with schizophrenia update. And I thought I'd do a video on what is commonly known as electroshock treatment and clear up some of the misconceptions about it. It's actually officially known as electroconvulsive therapy or ECT. Um, the first thing I want to point out, in the United States at least, ECT is not forced on people. Um, it's not a situation like in the movie One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest where they grab a mental patient and shove them down wide awake on a table and put electricity through one side or both sides of his head while he's wide awake and going into convulsions and breaking bones in the process. That's not the way it's done anymore. Electroconvulsive therapy is done under general anesthesia and also muscle relaxants are used to prevent the body from going into convulsions. And since there's general anesthesia, the person is not awake when they are going through an ECT course of treatment. So there is no deliberate torture of mental patients with ECT, and the question is, why use it? Does it work? And the answer is yes. I've had it on and off ECT since 1993, and it's now 2019. Um, one of the misconceptions is that it causes brain damage. I don't think that's true. I don't think as I sound, how I sound right now making this video, I don't think I sound brain damaged or that I have permanent memory loss, which is another belief that people have about ECT that it causes permanent memory loss. If it does, it doesn't in me. I don't have any permanent mem memory loss from it. And I've had well over a couple of dozen treatments over the past 20 years, more than 20 years. Um, I don't think I have any brain damage. I don't think I have any memory loss. There's short-term memory loss, sure. Um, for a while, I couldn't remember um, for a few days, the passwords to say my bank account on my computer or the password for my email account. There was short-term memory loss and a little bit of confusion after each treatment, but that usually passes with time within a few days. Um, so the misconception is number one, people are not forced into electroconvulsive therapy. Um, it does work, scientific evidence in double blind studies, studies show that it does work. And what does it work for? Well, it works for severe depression that may not respond to medication. It works for extreme cases of uh, bipolar disorder if a person is so manic um, and euphoric that they can't sleep and they're on the point of physical exhaustion and death from physical exhaustion, ECT might be used to, to treat um, the manic state of bipolar disorder as well as the depression phase of bipolar disorder. Um, it can be used for some forms of psychosis and that would apply to schizophrenics or schizoaffective disorder, um, psychosis and bipolar disorder, psychotic depression. Um, so it's used sparingly and only for certain situations, especially situations that don't respond to medication and might be life-threatening through something like suicide. Um, so that's all I can say right now. Um, if anybody has any questions about ECT or wants me to clarify something, please let me know. Um, I don't block comments. I don't censor people. And that's pretty much it for today. Um, I will be back probably tomorrow.